Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with a GDI engine. It could be practically any GDI engine. Stay with us guys and we'll explain what are the symptoms of jump timing chain. All that will be covered today. Now, uh, uh, one common mistake people make that can cost you thousands of dollars and I'm going to talk about that as we go. So make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why? we do that simple guys our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you and if you need to buy any parts tools for your Hyundai Kia check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said okay that's the Hyundai Kia engine that we have GDI now even if you have a different GDI engine the procedure is about the same 1.6 1.8 2.0 2.4 2.5 .2 they're all about the same so what I'm going to do now here guys okay we're going to go ahead I want to show you the timing component so what I'm going to do I'll remove here the fully. we have everything pretty loosened so I can save you time and I will explain okay what we'll be doing pull it out now uh, we have everything pretty loosened i'm going to remove the timing cover and as you can see right here i want to show you something on the timing cover by the way okay let me show you now something right here it says hyundai and kia okay and on the engine box it says hyundai and kia as well both of the engines are used on both vehicles guys so that gdi engine can be found in multiple hyundai and kia models so that's your timing chain you can see you have actually two timing chains one for the oil pump and the main timing chain from the crankshaft to the camshafts here as well guys the exhaust intake camshaft and this is the crankshaft this is the main timing chain tensioner this is the oil pump timing chain tensioner this is just a spring loaded tensioner this is a hydraulic oil control tensioner that has a spring inside there as well so let's talk about the tensioner now uh, about the timing chain and the symptoms of jump chain we have a special video that explains how to verify if your gdi engine jumped timing how to tell if uh, gdi engine jump timing so it, it will take you just a few minutes to find out if yours is good or bad but the symptoms of jump timing chain not being able to start the vehicle at all why because if you jump the wrong way you can uh, bend the valves lose compression not be able to start the vehicle if it jumps too much and even doesn't bend valves the timing may be off to the point that it doesn't start if the vehicle okay if you're trying to start it's cranking but it's backfiring that's a sign of a jump timing chain very likely not always but very likely if your car starts slow it cranks for a long time kind of like wants to start then it doesn't wants to start it doesn't then it starts but it's uh, running unstable it doesn't have enough power that's sign uh, could be a sign of a jump timing chain another thing that you can experience loss of power because let's say it jumps one or two two the timing will be off that will be indicated most likely you will have an engine light and a code relating to the timing chain component something such as camshaft crankshaft correlation not corresponding uh, having codes anything such as p0 uh, 0 010 to code P0017 it could indicate jump timing or problems with variable timing solenoids that could happen as well but jump timing chain is dangerous guys because if your vehicle still starts and you didn't bend valves it's important to fix it on time why because otherwise if it jumps to the point that it bends valves you need to remove the cylinder head rebuild the cylinder head in some cases you need to replace pistons and in some cases that can cost you thousands of dollars or new engine which can be in the range between five and ten thousand dollars on those gdi engines including labor to install it now uh, first thing that you will notice before chain jumps very likely not always but very likely the timing chain tensioner can start acting up it may actually guys develop a rattle so if you hear a rattle knocking noise on cold start guys it's very likely that you have a straight chain bed tensioner back timing chain guide so you need to verify guys that if you hear any noises coming from the timing chain area stop the vehicle and fix it as soon as you can before it's too late Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to ver verify that if you want to see how to verify uh, if you have how to know if uh, GDI engine jumped the timing we have the video on the channel and how to replace timing chain as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.